<laughs> and would you look at that? The flock is hungry. Yes, we're hungry. Well, I know it's going to be a fantastic afternoon because I've found myself right here in the kitchen. Oh, something feels wrong. <gasps> Walter must be in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, those guys. You guys are a bunch of jokers. Joking. Well, you know what? Today, I'm not actually going to be in the kitchen. I couldn't. Because today on the menu is shepherd's pie, and we need a real-life shepherd to do that. So, Steve, it's up to you, mate. Ah, you character won't you talking about me, eh? <laughs> yeah, boy, you take a load off, son. I'll take it from here. And by the way, you are the man. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. What a guy. Kitchen's all yours. Keep up the good stuff, mate. Yeah, that's the one. I am Shepherd Steve. And it's my job to look after the shepherd's pie. <laughs> and of course the sheep, I do that on the side as well. But my main speciality is making a delicious shepherd's pie. And I'm going to let you in on my secret recipe. So to whip one of these up, here's what you're going to need. Let's get them ingredients in here. You're going to need half an onion chopped, two carrots, three cloves of garlic, two and a half cups of sliced mushrooms, one tablespoon of oil, 450 grams of mince, two tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of thyme, one tablespoon of rosemary, one cup of frozen peas, one tablespoon of tomato paste, half a cup of beef stock, two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. And for your mashed potatoes, you're going to need three medium golden potatoes, quarter of a cup of milk, quarter of a cup of sour cream, and quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, rattle your dags, that's about it. Apart from, I need a jar. Oh, mate, Steve! Thought you never asked. You need a jar? <laughs> yeah. I'm the man. Come on, what do you need me to do, mate? <laughs> Give me some hard yakka. Wait, 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 wait. You're a jar? My name's Jar, yeah. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you're a character, yeah, son, mate. aren't you? Yeah, come on. What do you need? I, I need a glass jar, mate. A glass? Yeah! Oh, not jar. Oh. No, I mean... I... Oh, mate, I can help you out with that, oh. too. Uh, oh, right here. Oh. Jar's got a jar. Oh, you legend, mate. Hey, call out if you need anything else, eh? Oh, thank you, well do. Right. He's, he's a good guy, that guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, so glass jar, you're going to need one of those. Now, uh, to get your shape inspired just right, you want to have nice, fluffy potato mash on the top. Oh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. So to get this bit right, simply take your potato, as you can see, I've given her a good old rinse, a bit like drenching a sheet. Then I'm gonna take my potato peeler, careful, they're a little bit sharp, and I'm just gonna peel the whole outside of it right around. Look at that, came out like a little lamb, didn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. All right, next up, I'm just gonna quarter it. Now the thing is, the smaller the slices, the less time you need for boiling. So be careful with the sharp knife. Me might need an oldie to help you out. Then they're going into cold water. Oh yeah, that's nice and chilly, all right. Reason why we go with the cold water there is because as the water heats up, it cooks the potato evenly, so you don't get any of those chunky little daggy bits in your mash later on. Lovely. To make the perfect mash, step one, well, that's getting your potatoes on the boil. So to do that, I've peeled all my potatoes, I've chopped them up into pieces and put them in a pot of cold water. Then pop them on the stove, bring that to a boil and let them cook for eight minutes like that. Of course, remember to turn that pot handle inward so you don't knock it. Step two, mash them up and add quarter of a cup of milk and some sour cream and add a pinch of salt. Mix and set aside. Now that's some good looking mash. Of course, a good chef always tastes things. Oh. oh, that's so good. You've got to make this. Now that's only the topping. Now it's time to make the delicious mincy mixture that goes underneath. Step three, heat a frying pan with oil and cook up your onions for two to three minutes until they're soft and browning. You may need some help from someone older with this. Step four, add in your garlic and grated carrots for one to two minutes. Step five, add your mince and mushrooms and cook until completely brown. Step six, add two tablespoons of flour and your herbs. Step seven, add one tablespoon of tomato paste, one cup of frozen peas and half a cup of beef stock and some Worcester sauce. Bring that to a simmer and leave that for five lovely minutes. Oh, this is smelling so good. And would you look at that? 
The flock is hungry. Yeah, we're hungry. <laughs> really hungry. Please. Never you mind, guys. You're going to get your feed in just a moment. Now, I've got to be careful because the pan is very hot. Take your jar, and I'm just going to uh, put this in there, and I'm going to stack it up nice and neat to about halfway. Oh, so there's the meaty part of the deal. Now it's time to put that nice white fluffy cloud on the top. And there you have it. Oh, that's looking so delicious. All right, Lemmies, it's time for you to come over and have a feed. I'll leave a few over here for you. Unfortunately, I've got to go back to the old farm. See you guys. Steve, mate, you're a legend. You're a legend, mate. Take care, brother. And oh, man, I love the look of the shepherd's pie in a jar, and it's going to go into another jar. Oh, yes. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, let's go. Light and fluffy. All right, flock, let's get in there. There we go. Starting off with the white cloud on top. Aotearoa. I love the peas. Mm, the veggies in there. Good. It's love, really good. I love everything about this. <laughs> now all you need to do is subscribe by clicking here.